Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back with another video. This is the other Wednesday, which makes it Hidden Figures Day. Uh, the time recently changed. I live in the U.S. The time recently changed, so the light is like really weird. Um, I'm still figuring out I need like some more light because it's like getting darker earlier and like whatever. Um, so ignore my lighting situation right now. My, I, I'm going to work on that. But um, it's, again, it's the other Wednesday, which makes it Hidden Figures Day. Today's hidden figure is Madge Sinclair, who's an actress um, that I kind of feel like should be more famous. Uh, she's won a ton of awards. She was in Coming to America. She played Queen Aeolian, who uh, is Eddie Murphy's character's mom, um, the Queen of Zamunda. She was in The Lion King, um, playing... Sarabi, who is Simba's mom. She was in Roots playing Belle. She like she was in all these like seminal black works. She was in Star Trek. She was the first uh, female Starfleet um, starship captain to appear in Star Trek. Like she accomplished a lot, but she's not really like a well known household name. So I wanted to do today's hidden figures on her. So Madge Sinclair. Uh, Madge Sinclair was born April 28th, 1938. Uh, she was a Jamaican-American actress, best known for her roles in Cornbread, Earl and Me, Coming to America, Trapper John, M.D., and the ABC TV miniseries Roots. She also voiced the character of Sarabi, Mufasa's mate, and Simba's mother in the animated feature film The Lion King. Born Madge Dorita Walters in Kingston, Jamaica, to Herbert and Jemima Walkers, she was a school teacher in Jamaica until 1968 when she left for New York to pursue her career in acting at the age of 30. And I also think it's really cool that she went to pursue her career at the age of 30. Uh, I was recently watching Taraji P. Henson give a speech where she was talking about how she moved to LA at the age of 26 to be an actress and how everyone kept telling her like you're too old and you have like this young child and like it's never gonna work and it's just like that's not true like number one 30 is still young 40 is still young 50 is still young like it's never too late like it's never too late like it's never too late um, her early credits included the role of Clytemnestra in the New York Shakespeare Festival production of The Wedding of Iphigenia, I hope I pronounced that right, in 1971. She made her film debut in 1974 opposite John Voight and Conrack, and in 1977 she played Belle in Roots, who's like a main character, as we know. Following Roots, she starred in the 1978 film Convoy as the Widow Woman, and she played Leona Hamilton's in Cornbread, Earl and Me. Sinclair received an Emmy Award nomination for her role as Belle in the miniseries Roots, and also in 1978, she co-starred in the short-lived sitcom Grandpa Goes to Washington. Sinclair went on to a long-running stint in the 1980s as nurse Ernestine Shoup on the series Trapper John M.D. opposite Pernell Roberts. She received three emanations three emanations. She received three Emmy nominations for her work on the show. In 1988, Sinclair played Queen Aeolian alongside James Earl Jones, King Joffrey Jofer, in the Eddie Murphy comedy Coming to America, which reunited her on screen with her Roots husband and co-star John Amos. Later, both Sinclair and Jones would reunite as Queen and King for the roles of Sarabi and Mufasa, Simba's mother and father, in the blockbuster Disney animated film The Lion King in 1994, respectively. The film became one of the best-selling titles ever on home video, and it would also be her last film role. The two also collaborated on the series Gabriel, Gabriel's Fire, which earned Sinclair an Emmy in 1991 for Best Supporting Actress in a Dramatic Series, famously beating out the expected winner, L.A. Law's Diana Mulder. Like, why is Madge Sinclair, like, not more well-known? Like, it's wild. Sinclair played the role of Lally in the 1991 Channel 4 television miniseries The Orchid House, directed by Horace Ove, and also received critical praise for her supporting role in the 1992 television movie Jonathan, The Boy Nobody Wanted with Joe Beth Williams. In 1993, Sinclair came to London to appear on stage at the Cochrane Theatre in The Lion by Michael Abensetz, and in 1994, she played a supporting role in the short-lived ABC sitcom Me and the Boys, which starred Steve Harvey. Sinclair, in her brief role as the captain of the USS Saratoga in Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, is commonly cited as the first female Starfleet starship captain to appear in Star Trek. Years later, Sinclair played Geordie LaForge's mother, captain of the USS Hera, in Star Trek The Next Generation's Interface. 
Her final acting role was on the sitcom Dream On just one month before her death. She received five em- excuse me, I keep saying emanations. She received five nominations for Emmy Awards and one for her work in the critically acclaimed Gabriel's Fire, which ran on ABC from 1990 to 1992. She played the owner of a cafe frequented by the title character, a former convict played by James Earl Jones, and Sinclair won the 1991 Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress Drama Series for her role as Empress Josephine in Gabriel's Fire. Sinclair was married to Royston Sinclair, a police officer, and had two sons with him, Gary and Wayne Sinclair. In 1982, she was remarried to actor Dean Compton, and she died of leukemia in 1995 after 13 years of battling the disease. She was cremated, and her ashes were scattered in her hometown of Jamaica. I'm receiving emails. I should have muted that. Sorry, you guys keep hearing that email noise. Sorry. Uh, And a quote that I want to read you guys uh, is from a television critic, Donald Bogle, uh, and he, I'm just going to go ahead, he praised Madge Sinclair for maintaining her composure and assurance no matter what the script imposed on her. Madge Sinclair, a hidden figure. Of course, there will be lots of links in the description box. Hopefully you guys are having a great week. And before I go, I also want to, um, for anyone that is living in New York, I will be speaking on a panel uh, in New York tonight on privilege at Medgar Evers College in Brooklyn. Um, It starts at 6 p.m. There will be a screening um, of a movie on privilege by Landy Youssef, who's a great independent um, filmmaker. And then we will be having a panel later on where we're going to be speaking about privilege and about being uh, black in the workplace and all types of really interesting things. So any of you that are in New York, um, there will be information in the description box if you guys want to look it up. And hopefully I'll see some of you there. And proof of that as always, see you guys next time. Peace.